Hi guys, uh, this is another uh, cool kit found at electroniclessons.com. What this is, is your very own sequential lock opener. Uh, you can set it to turn anything on and off using a, using a, uh, a code that you, pro you can uh, program into the circuit by hardwiring it. There's a, uh, quite a little bit of wiring here, but the kit comes with everything you need, including a relay. Uh, this means you can turn, you can... Uh, you can find a magnetic lock or uh, two magnets. Uh, if you're good with mechanics, you can turn anything on off using the relay at the at the uh, output, which is capable of uh, of uh, several 100, uh, 200 and some odd volts AC. So you can tr using a digital circuit that I've provided, you can turn uh, you can turn anything on and off using a special code that you uh, create. Uh, this comes uh, with instructions, or instructions in parts, or instructions parts in a print circuit board, or parts instructions and a breadboard. So you have a whole bunch of options. Just go to electroniclessons.com and it points you to my eBay store. You can take a look at this kit and you can determine whether it's something you'd like to purchase. Anyway, the instructions are very, very detailed. Uh, even younger people should be able to figure understand what's how to configure this circuit. Uh, I've got videos on how to use the breadboard. I've got all sorts of crazy stuff on my eBay store. So electroniclessons.com, not electronics lessons. Electroniclessons.com. Anyway, let's get to it. My program, my programmed code is a uh, two six four eight. If I press anything else, the sequence resets. So let's plug it in, and we'll go along, and I'll type in my code. I've got an LED hooked up to my relay. My LED over here is my isolated circuit. So let's type in my code. Two, six, four, eight. And uh, it just opens up for a second as you can see. it. Uh, you can actually uh, use a special capacitor in here that turns things on and off depending on how long, uh, if you use a, a different component you can make it the output turn on for a longer period of time or a shorter period of time. Again, two, six, four, eight. So I can make this code whatever I want to and all the other uh, all the other buttons are hooked up to a manual reset. So it's really it's really interesting, they're very, uh, very reasonably priced. Uh, excellent educational tool, you'll understand what's going on, how the circuit is working. Uh, and you can uh, set this up any way you like. Remember, you can purchase this kit with a breadboard, parts, the instructions, or with a PCB. If you're good enough and you know how to solder, and you're uh, and you know what you're doing, I only suggest using this using this if you know what you're doing. But you can make it really neat. Uh, uh, sequential lock using that. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I very much appreciate your time. Please visit electroniclessons.com. Have a great day. Hey.